If you work for a nonprofit or an educational institution, you might feel a little bit boxed in on what software solutions are available to you with budget constraints and wanting to find something that's easy enough to use without needing IT. It can be a little bit tricky. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a software and Airtable implementation partner. Now, if you haven't tried software, I encourage you to check it out with our affiliate link in the description below. But in this video, we're going to talk about seven reasons why you're going to want to use software on your next website build or web application. Reason number one, let's talk about software's generous free plan. Well, what do I mean by generous? Well, let's take a look. So if we're on the free plan here, you get unlimited applications. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But you can also collaborate across your organization. You can have five different collaborators. So this is not limited to you having to do all of the work as you set this up. You can interact with people on your team as you're building this out. Now, from here, we also have the ability to have a custom domain. I find this to be pretty rare on a free plan. So this could be your main school's website. This could be your main nonprofit website that you can brand with your own domain. You don't have to have it at a softer subdomain. And then we've got lots of functionality to be able to create the designs and layouts that we're looking for as part of our web application. Reason number two, if you decide to upgrade to a different plan for additional feature offerings, then Softer offers a 30% discount for nonprofits and educational institutions. I'm going to link this form in the description below. So make sure to fill that out as you're getting started to lock in that discount. Reason number three, we talked about unlimited applications. Well, what could an application be? That could be your main website. That could be a student tracker. That could be a donation tracker. That could be internal project management. Those might be four different web applications that you have. And rather than needing to host them on different services, you can do it all inside of software. They have a number of different templates available that you can tap into. This allows you to iterate very quickly. And as a nonprofit, you're often stretched very thin. So not having to manage four different technology vendors and instead being able to do that all within software makes it really easy to be able to add new functionality to what you're working on, what projects you're trying to roll out. Reason number four is that this is already going to connect to the data sources that you're probably using today. Most of the nonprofit organizations that we work with probably are using Google Sheets. Some of them are using Airtable. So what this means is you can connect your application, your data already lives there, and you don't have to start all over. So you're gonna see a lot of time savings when it comes to setting up your web applications, because you might already have Google Sheets set up or you already have your data in Airtable and it ends up being a few clicks of a setup process rather than building everything from scratch. I mentioned that there are already templates available for you to use out of the box. Let me show you a couple of them. One is Donately, and this is a template used for creating campaigns and tracking donations to be able to see who's made what donations, be able to sign up new donors. We have an example for event planning. So if you're using this to manage different events, the schedule, speakers that are attending, you want to be able to tweak that, you can do that with the event planning template. And then we also have a student portal template where you can track student interactions, courses, professors. All of these are available as templates that just take a couple of clicks to be able to set up. Now, one nonprofit that's been really successful with software is Skylight Ventures. Now, Skylight Ventures created an applicant tracking portal, and they wanted to be able to help identify funding sources and make that readily available to refugee entrepreneurs inside of the UK. Now, one of the reasons they selected Softer to build their infrastructure on is because they found that they had a number of limitations with the existing solutions that they were using out of the box. And that's a really common theme that we see with nonprofits is that there are solutions that are out there geared at nonprofits but you're very baked into exactly how this functionality works. You don't have that flexibility as opposed to when you're using softer. So they chose softer really because of that additional flexibility. You have the templates, but when you need to make it your own, you can do that very easily as well. Now, an educational institution that's using softer is the UN International School, and they wanted to build a solution that would allow them to submit incident reports about students. And in doing so, as they created the solution, one of the things that they needed is to be able to voice all of these concerns back to multiple groups of stakeholders. And that's another advantage software has here is being able to have different groups of stakeholders have access to that information inside of your web application. Now, what that means for you is inside of software, I'm logged in and we have the ability to create different user groups. And we can do this based off of an attribute of the user. So maybe we have our groups of contacts inside of Airtable and we say, if this person is an admin, here's what they can do. 
If they're a donor, we only want them to see this restricted set of pages, and we can mix and match so that we create the exact set of functionalities that we want for each of those groups of stakeholders inside a software. And reason number seven is that you have the ability to connect software to a number of different applications that you might already be using today, whether using Make or Zapier. You might say, hey, if we have new contact information come in from a form, then we want to go ahead and create them a new donor profile inside a software. And this functionality is really easy to be able to do and set up using other no-code applications. Get started with software today. We've got the links in the description, both for getting started with software and also to get that 30% discount.